There's four parts of every business that determine how much or how smoothly it's going to grow. And when any of those areas are broken, business slows and sometimes stops entirely, which is why so many businesses hit plateaus. And each of these four areas can be fixed quickly just by refocusing a little bit. So you do not need to stay stuck at a certain revenue level for years. And you do not need to learn all the latest, greatest business strategies that come out every single year. In fact, hell, if you look at the trends, you'll see that the learning industry is like, what, a $200 billion a year industry? Did you know that? A 200 plus billion dollar a year industry? And depending on what news stations you listen to or watch, it's projected to hit like $800 billion in, in less than 10 years from now. Now, do you think that there's a meeting right now with all the people selling information, sitting around trying to figure out how to give you better information? Or do you think maybe that they're trying to figure out how to sell you even more stuff? You know, if you said to me, and nobody ever would say this, but if you said to me, Chris, write me a plan that would guarantee me that my company would hit a plateau and would completely stop our growth, do you know what I would do? I would go right to all the business books and write to all the seminars and I'd write down everything that they say and I'd send those notes to you. And do you know what those notes would tell you to do instead of focusing on your business, they tell you that you need to read to succeed or the day that you stop learning is the day that you start dying or uh, you need to be good at this and this and this and this and AI and 12 other things every single year just to compete in the business world today. Do you know what that's doing? It's making you dependent on them. So we need to understand that most authors and business educators do not necessarily have our best interest at heart. Their goal is to sell you more information, not to hand you a solution. Now, I've got 11 companies in my portfolio. Four of them are eight-figure companies. And in our investment firm, I'm the one who goes in and restructures companies for growth so that we can get our initial investment back in three years and significantly grow those companies. And there's four areas that I am always focused on. Four areas that are always either the catalyst to a business's success, meaning that they're supporting its growth, or if the owner takes their eyes off of one of those areas for too long, it becomes the weak link and disrupts growth every single time. And those four areas are revenue revenue, reach, relationships, and organization. Most people have the revenue part pretty well nailed down, although most companies focus their time on the hardest way to increase revenue, the most costly way to increase revenue, right? Rather than maximizing every part of their revenue stream. But the second area is reach, and that's when you stand on top of the mountain with your bullhorn and you shout your message to the masses. How many people actually hear you? How big is your audience? I mean, your reach must be bigger than just your email list or your social media or your Facebook group, because if you you're thinking that way, if you're thinking that that's your audience, you're thinking way, way, way too small. Those are just nets to hold your audience's attention. When I tell people that we've grown companies 300, 500, 700% in one year, most people can't even wrap their minds around that. But when you begin focusing more on growing your exposure than just on growing sales, the rate at which your company grows drastically increases. Now, the third area is relationships. And that's relationships with your prospects, with your customers, with your team, with your vendors, with your partners, with your family. And if you drop the ball on any one of them, it affects all of them. And the last area is organization. Some people call it structure. And this is where most companies have the greatest potential for growth. And it's also where most companies fuck everything up because they think that they have systems in place, but those systems are not built specifically to grow companies. Most companies have systems that are built just to detail processes, which keeps their team stagnant. 